Hello everybody, welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome back to Xenoblade. That's the introduction. You know why you're here. You you saw the title. You clicked the video. Let's just get going. This should be the last one. I'm thinking. I'm thinking this should be the last one, because these don't seem like that many. Or hard to do. We just need to do them. So, first one, we need to talk to Karolf. As Dunban. Well, not as Dunban, but with Dunban in the party. You know, you know what I mean. So this will be the second in this quest line. That will keep going for, for a little bit longer. Yes. Curses! Where did I drop it? At this rate, all my hard work's gonna go to waste. Oh, you're the guys that Zane was talking about. We only owe you guys. But right now, I've got bigger problems. Say, listen. Have you guys seen a white spherical storage thing around? You haven't? Oh man, what am I gonna do? Looks like you're in trouble. Lost something? Yeah, something real important. I'm going on another adventure with Zane, yeah? And there's a really important cream we need for the journey. But guess what? I dropped it somewhere. A cream? To be used somewhere incredibly cold? I can see why you're so worried now. I definitely had it when I went mining for crystals with Zane. Where the heck is it? It's apparently at Anu Shore. This is literally just get a thing. This is the easiest quest of all time. All right, then next, has to talk to Blaze with Melia. Where is Merlaze? I think I think there, if I remember correctly. Has become a really dangerous place. Loads of monsters have appeared. The Imperial Guard are trying to deal with it, but it's still bad. Alchemoth might be in danger too. Do you mean to say that they cannot protect the city unaided? And they dare to call themselves the Imperial Guard? Unbelievable. Are they all shirking their training? N no, it's not that. There's just more monsters than we could have imagined. That changes not the shame they bring upon themselves. Very well, I shall deal with them myself. I'm sorry. I wanted to go and help too, but I just get in the way. I think only strong people will be able to help. Talk to Lacroix. First, try and get all the details from Officer Lacroix. I'll pass on the info, but thanks for helping. Okay, so what was that? That was Brave Actions. So yeah, now we have to talk to Lacroix. Young Merlaise has informed me of your kind offer. You have agreed to help us, yes? I'm deeply ashamed we are unable to handle this ourselves. The monsters are Buono Nebulae. Oh no. We've been exterminating them almost every night. The population has dropped by quite a lot. But there's still one final push that needs to be made. Okay. Can I make another request while you're at it? Is there any chance you could defeat some Bono Nebulae too? They're incredibly tough foes, so we're struggling to deal with them. 
Okay, so that got us two. Brave actions is now defeat those, and that also gets protect the capital. Okay, there's those. The guide that I was reading said that protect the capital would be like missable to get, but you can only get it by getting brave act. There was no chance for me to miss that. I don't know. Maybe they changed it. Okay, and now... That may be... Wait, no, hang on. I have to talk to Talia. Where, where is Talia? 18 to 6. Okay. Apparently in the... Oh wait, no, she's right there. Me. So let me guess. You're the travelers that everyone in town is talking about, right? I've heard all about you from Professor Noroth and Ruthon. I'm on the same research team as those two you see. They talk about you quite a bit. Oh? I should go to the Place of Judgment in Sator Marsh. Perhaps I'll make a major discovery about our history. By yourself, you fool? Wait! How do you know that I'm going to head to the site of the ruins? Yes, I'm fully aware of the potential dangers there. But do not worry, I'm making solid preparations. The results of our research are finally within our grasp. Now is not the time to hesitate. Is that all? So, I think I'll be going now. I do not wish to be disturbed, so please do not follow me. <laughs> yeah, huh. Haha. <laughs> That says defeat a unique monster right there, Missy. Okay. And I think we have one more to accept. Need Sharla. And we need to talk to Vidian. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright. I hate when they are on these little bridges because they are so far away. Hey. Lighthouse manager Shallon used to be my classmate. She always got good craves, but always at the top of the class. So I thought she'd end up working at the Imperial Palace, but she volunteered to manage the lighthouse instead. Maybe it's because she likes to see so much. Oh. Classmates. I like it when I get a random mass connection. Thank you. Hey. You're the guys that helped Lasunia, right? You know, to get over her dislike of the other races of Bionis? I heard it was a group of Homs, so I thought it must be you. After you did that, she started talking to me again. But she's really cold. I think it's all because of the wing decorations. That's why she's still giving me the cold shoulder. You see, I broke Lasunia's wing decorations. I got some for her which looked almost exactly the same, but she said she didn't want anything from a half high entia. She never used to say nasty things like that. What happened? I want the old Lasunia back. I want her to remember what she told me that night. So you're saying she wasn't like this before? Seems a little hard to believe. Yeah, she didn't care if you were Homs or Nopon or whatever. Then out of the blue, she started only liking pure high entia. You need morning dew ice from Befalger Pedestal only at dawn. I mean, we have a quick travel right to Befalger Pedestal, so it should be fine. That should be fine. Hit up on and hit a hum combo. 
Oh, and that got them to green. Yes. Dunban is now green with almost everyone, just needs Rhine. Uh, I would assume, yeah, I want AP, yes. And then, agility reduces weight of equipment. I guess, I guess agility. Okay. They put Rhine back in. And now, we should be ready to go start cleaning these up. Yes, because then... There's still just the one long quest line with Koralth and Zane. So let's go. What should we do first? Oh, defeat a monster, defeat monster, defeat monster, find a thing, find a thing. Okay, well, let me just go find these things real quick. Anu Shore, where is that? Over there. It, it's over there. Looks like I'm ready for some long swimming again. I, uh... Oh. Come on, Dunman. I know you can jump over that. Really? Okay. And I will meet everybody when I get there. Because this... This is going to take a little bit, so I'll see ya. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And here we are. It is right over here. Done. Next we got this thing, which is at Befalger Pedestal. Only at Dawn. So... Dawn. Be like... Be like... That. And then that like mountain. Over here. Oh uh, yeah, there it is. Boink. Easiest quests of my life. Now let's go fight some stuff. Uh, let's save the unique monster. Let's just go fight some... Some nebulas. Which will be fun. Not sure where they are, so let's just go in here and see where they are. Okay, where are they? Looks like we got two right on this platform behind us. Come here. You're level 35. I don't give a damn about you. You're going down. No mercy. Ricky can win by himself. I hate these things. That's about right. Oh, a, a squall element, huh? Yeah, I, I... I needed that, like... Five episodes ago.
and as simple as that. And protect the capital is done. Maybe it's, you can't, you shouldn't complete brave actions before you complete this one, or else you won't be able to. I don't know, but there, there we go. There's, there's that one done. Okay, now let's do the other nebulas. Where are they? Well, it seems like the easiest spot is right here. These guys are even weaker. They're even weaker. No mercy. Drizzle element. Hmm. I don't know if that's used for anything. By the way, that, that makes me think. I did check the stuff we need to get Colony 6 to the next level. Yeah, we can't get there yet. It's gonna be a while till we can get there. It's it's at least like three areas. And there we are. Man, what a bunch of jokers. All right, so now just have to fight the unique monster at the place of judgment in Sotoral Marsh. Let us go. Where is the place of judgment? Uh, okay, there it is. Oh. Oh, she did. Is that Gogola guarding the statue? I never expected it to be guarded. It appears I cannot proceed with my research. Sorry, Naroth. Sorry, Ruthen. Don't worry. We're coming. You, daytime Satoral Marsh. No. That's more like it. Damn. This looks like a long ass walk. Uh, okay, I'm just, I'll walk. At least I don't have to swim. So it won't take that long. Go up here, and you go up here. Ah, pretty. Oh right, I forgot monkeys were guarding all these places. Okay, gotta get over there. Jesus, that's a lot. And they're in the 80s. No, that bridge is protected. Uh, uh, let me go over this way. Okay, right over here. Huh. You're you're the unique monster, huh? You're Oh no wait, it's not even a unique monster. It's just a it's just a gogol. Don't, don't, I don't want your big bro to notice me, so let me just, let me just, uh, take care of you. Well, 
why would there be such a weak Gogol here next to all of them? Alright, and we talk to Talia. I do not know how you came to know my future, but you prevented me from becoming seriously injured. I must offer you my gratitude. I feel I can trust you enough to explain why I came to these ruins. Not long ago, I discovered an ancient book. Naroth Ruthen and I then formed a research group to study it. The book told of a war god faith that existed long ago. Have you seen the statue above the entrance to the palace? It is based on the war god, but is only a copy. Right now, I'm trying to determine where the war god faith arose, so finding the original statue would greatly help our research. We've deciphered half of the book. The text indicated that the original war god statue is in Satoral. However, the statue I found here was not the original. My actions were premature. First, I should decipher the entire text. I may ask for your help when the time comes to seek out the statue. I hope I can depend on you. Many thanks for everything you have done for me so far. No worry, baby. I got you. Hmm. Where did the war god come from? Okay, there's that done. And I got, yeah. Research pal. Ah, that's so, that's so cute. All right, now we can go turn these in. So let's go and do that. It, it needs to be daytime though. Right. All right. Let's go talk to. Oh, wait. No. Hang on. No. Go here. We don't talk to Malays. Talk to Lacroix. You are simply in the f Hmm? Indefatigable? Is that- is that what that is? What the hell word is that? Uh, uh, you have really saved us. I think we've successfully stopped the surge in monster population. Please go and tell Merlaise. Thanks to your efforts, Alchemoth is safe. If you want to join the Imperial Guard, then I will train you. Thanks a lot. Uh, now we go see Merlays. I must really impress the crop. As reward, he said he gave me training. Now I have two instructors. I'm gonna train so hard. Oh yeah. There's brave actions. Unbeatable. What does that do? And now, perfect pupil? No. Teacher pupil. There you are. Okay. Mark that. And now... Oh. Right. You. God damn it! Ha. <sighs> Hopefully this is the last time I have to make that walk. Hey. Oh wow, you actually found it. It's exactly the same as I remember it. I'll use this to make Lusunia something really nice. All finished. Could you give it to Lasunia for me, please? And remind her of what happened that night. Affection seal half. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Where... where is she? That's... that's Karalth. 
I guess she's at night time. I'll turn this in real quick. Yes. W wow, you found it? Where was it? Near the crystals? So I dropped it when I was mining then. I feel bad for making you run around like that. I really should have checked out that place by myself. If I did, then that could have saved you a lot of bother. But regardless, I'm grateful. Thanks to you guys, Zane's not going to have a go at me. Thanks for everything. Alright. And of course, we're not done with these two yet. We have Preparing for Adventure 3. And Ryan comments. Good. Are you, that you know Talia, right? She's a pen friend of mine. I trade info with her about the various ruins she's researching. I ask her about the statues and murals I see on my travels. Our aims are different, but we're interested in the same things, so we can really help each other. Pen pal. Thank you for the link. Are you that Got any emergency rations? We need them right away. It's an absolute must for this latest adventure. We're not going to be able to make it there and back in just a few days. That's when we need rations that'll keep for a fair while. From what I've learned, Orthless liver works best for rations. You can get it from Lakebed Orthless near Colony 9. I can't make it down there, so could you get it for me, please? I don't get it. Why don't you just hunt the animals there to eat? Sadly, that's not possible. Where we're going, there's not much in the way of edible fauna. That's when we need rations. We just need one. We, we just need one. Okay. Alright, now let's change it to night time. Talk to Lesunia. Where is she? She is right there, good. Hey you, stop being racist. This is from Vidian. A headwing decoration, but only one of a pair? And wait, isn't this made out of morning dew ice? When we were very small, Vidian and I, we managed to get lost on Valak Mountain during a school trip. I was really obsessed with getting some morning dew ice, so we ended up getting separated from the rest of the class. There was a raging blizzard, we couldn't see anything. Somehow we managed to survive until morning. We kept on talking and talking, desperate not to fall asleep. And finally, when dawn came, we saw it. It was like diamond dust. It was so beautiful that I honestly thought I must have died. There she was, by my side, Vidian. It's thanks to Vidian I survived. If she hadn't been there, I would have lost consciousness, I know it. And I've called her a half-wit, insulted her blood and heritage. Oh, I've been a complete fool. How could I believe something so ridiculous and stupid? It makes no difference whether you're Homs or Nopon or anything. We're all the same. I must apologize to Vidian. And to you kind people too. No. No. Don't make me do it. No! Shit! Okay. Please. Please no more. Hey. Lasunia said she remembered what happened that night. I'm so happy. So Lasuni has finally returned to her old self. The truth is, I've always been embarrassed about something. But the size of my wings. They're so small. But that night, when I spoke about it with Lasunia, she said that she didn't care about that at all. In fact, she said she envied me. Said that they must be so much easier to maintain. I'm so happy right now. Thank you. I really owe you. You can... you can... Cash in that owing by never making me do this walk again. Okay. And we're glad. Whoa, friends again. There you go. Boop a doop a doo. Okay. So now, I'm pretty sure we just have this one last quest line with uh, Zane and Karalth. 
yeah, we just gotta, we just gotta do the rest of these. And then Alchemoth will be done until, you know, when every place gets new quests. But we just, we just gotta do this. This one last quest line. All right, we gotta go to Agora Shore to fight an Orthrus. Orthless? I don't even remember what it was called. But you know what that means. A long ass swim again. Please, please tell me why they don't have any fast travel near these like fringe areas that are right on the edge of the map. You have to do this long ass swim every time. And it makes me mad. At least it's right there. Got wrong. Is it the turtle? Do I have to kill the turtle? Yeah. Huh. You. You were not there before. You were most definitely not there before. Are you a unique monster? Oh my. Oh, you are. Okay, lake bed orthless. Well, this should be a cool fight. Have at you. Dee -doo -dee -dee -doo. We got this. We've got this immensely. In the bag. And dead. Worthless liver. Ah, nice to have clean fight. Alright, now back to those two. Luckily, they're right near us, uh, skip travel. Are you that? So this is the Orthus's liver. I'm really in your debt. Now we're ready to adventure. We're ready to leave whenever. Rolf and me are really looking forward to this adventure. When we get back, we'll tell you all about it. This is thanks from both of us. You did an amazing job. Thank you, thank you. Mithril armor. Hmm. Okay, and now that we've done that, mm -hmm, over here, we get access to a few more quests. We talk to Elior, with Ryan in the party. Good. Hello there. Wanna play? What am I gonna do? I need more experience if I wanna be like those guys. But that's impossible now. Hmm? You're gonna listen to me? But I really wanna be like Zane and his partner. So that's why I wanna know lots and lots about stars. Adventures like Zane and Karoth are always telling people stories. When I grow up, I want to do the same thing too. I realized recently that's my dream. So there's someone called Muriel who knows lots about stars, but I don't know where she is. She's not around during the day, so I think she's around at night. But I'm not allowed to go out at nighttime, so I don't know what to do. I got it. So you want us to search for this person, right? Right, leave it to us. We can't promise anything, okay, kid? But we'll try our best for you. Wow, you guys are really, really nice. Don't try too hard, okay? Maybe if I ask my mom really nicely, she'll let me. Nah, that'll never happen. Alright, just talk to Muriel. Don't know where she is, but shouldn't be a problem. Where is she? Good. Very much good. The more people that are just right next to Skip Travels, the better. <laughs> oh, 
Well, hello there. Can I help you with something? I see. A boy who wishes to study the stars. An honest interest in the stars. This boy sounds very promising. He will need a telescope if he is to deepen his knowledge, but sadly I only have the one myself. I could make him one if you could get me the materials. All I need are some silver X-plates. We already got him! Oh yes. <laughs> Impressive. Everything they say about you is true. Such efficiency. Thank you kindly. I'll get started on making the telescope right away. All right, all right, all right. It's done. Let's give it to him. Oh, she's got a quest. Eh? Oh yeah, this is this is actually more of the uh, preparing for adventure. I guess we can. Yeah, I guess we can accept this right now, since we're here. We need Melia in the party. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you, but please listen, this is urgent. Zane and his friend haven't come back from their adventure. Oh no. This is terrible. Both their lives are in danger. The last I heard, they said they were going to Valak Mountain, making preparations to see some ruins or something like that. But they haven't come back. Please, please go and rescue them. Valak Mountain is a death trap. To think they actually went. Reckless and foolish. How did they get sanctioned to go there in the first place? I don't care about any sanction. They've gone, so it's too late. Aren't their lives more important? Yes, you are correct. Come, we must make haste if we are to save Zane and Karolf. Three Sage Summit. We haven't gone there yet. I don't know where that is. Oh boy. All right, well, let's go turn in this quest, and then he has one more. We're almost done. Almost done. got something to give me for Muriel. What is it? Is this a telescope? That's cool! I'm always looking up at the sky. I'll be able to see the stars really clearly. There you are. Thanks for everything. Here's something to say thanks. Alright. Yeah, he does have one more. We have uh, admiration and kind person. For, uh, for them. Yeah, he has one more. And this is the last one we can accept. God damn, god damn. We need Ricky. Uh, um, excuse me. I have another problem. I've been watching the stars from my window every night, but it just doesn't feel like enough anymore. Yeah, it's horrible. Once you see a little bit, you just want to see more and more. So can you please, please help me with this? I've heard there's a clepper knop on around. I think he might be able to make my telescope better. I heard he likes stars too, so I hope that this works. Ooh, that might be knop on like Ricky. Why? Easy. Or knop on very clever. Really? Well... I suppose you'd know. I don't know where he is, but I'm sure you can find him. Kaleka. Kaleka? And we got his telescope. Kaleka. Where... Is, is he here? I don't remember seeing a Kaleka. Okay. 18 to 6. So, nighttime again. And he's right there. Good, good, good. Hello? 
What is this? Oh, you want me to make it better? For Kaleka is no problem. But I don't have the material I need. Alright, what do we do? What do we need? What do we need? High into your tomb. Alright, what do we need? Okay. Don't have it? What do we need? Attachment part in the second treasury. Well, thankfully, I know right where the second treasury is. All we gotta do is just go right here. By the way, we still uh, we we still can't get to the other places. That those still come later. But we can go right back to the second treasury. And yoink. And then we go back. Luckily, all of these have been very easy. Haven't had to grind or nothing. Hello? We've already got the part. Ooh, show Kaleka, show. <laughs> show it to me, if you would. No problem at all. Well done on getting the part. Now I shall begin my great endeavor. Go ahead, man. All done. Yay! Please return this to the child. I'm weary after my efforts. I leave the rest to you. The stronger telescope. All right, now we just go back, give it to Elior, and we will be done with Alchemoth. Except that one, but that's in Valak Mountain. So, yeah. I'm not gonna do a Valak Mountain questing part. We're just gonna do those quests in a main part because I'm pretty sure they're all just generic get stuff, defeat monsters, and, you know. Two, he likes doing the fight, and he'll get those done. So this will be the last questing for right now. What? He made the telescope more powerful just for me? Let me see, let me see. This is so cool. I don't really understand how it's been changed, but it's better now, right? There you are. Thank you. This will be enough to keep me satisfied until I'm a grown-up. Thanks again. There you are, young lad. And now, he's a kind person. All right. We are level four with Upper Bionis. That looks very nice to me. Yeah, I'm looking here, and if I made sure to mark everything as I did it, we only have two more quests in Alchemoth. The one we accepted, and the one we get after story events. And then that will be it. That will actually be it. So luckily, after this, I can now go talk to these people and get whatever links I'm missing. And that will be very fun. Because I've, for, I've forgotten to mention it before, I've done that in Colony 9. There are actually a, a few... A few there that I missed. Like, uh, Paola and Irene are connected to Lucas now. And Mephi Mephi, since I invited Perrine, Mephi Mephi has links there. So yeah, I just got a, cup, a couple more there. Yeah, this thing is looking nice and filled. Except, you know, this part. But we'll get, we'll get to that part. Okay, and I think with that, I'll end it there. Oh man. I've been player one, and we'll see you next time. When we finally can, can continue on with the, with the main game. We go, we actually explore Valak Mountain. All right. Bye-bye.